Hi everybody, it's Diana. This week's tutorial is going to be using the Sizzix box number two die and you are going to want to cut out two of the box number two die. Let me grab them over here. And I get them in Sahara sand. So you're going to um, do two of them. You're going to put sticky strip along this side right here on both of them. Now you want to, so this is what it's going to look like. And then I just wrote on here remove, remove. And this just kind of helps you if you've not made one of these before so you don't cut off the wrong tabs. But you're going to want to just snip these off just with your paper snips like that. Okay, so then you're left with this. Now the trick to folding the boxes up are you want to get all of your folds and your scores kind of worked on before you start doing the box so that they're nice and supple and movable or whatever. Also the trick to folding these boxes is this. Fold this down, so this is where your sticky strip is, and then this is going to be what will get glued together. So right here will get glued. So don't lift the box up and then try to glue it like this because you might not get it lined up. And especially if you're using sticky strip, um, it's it's that's why it's called sticky strip because it's it's stuck good. So my little um, trick is just lay your box the way you think it's going to be. I use scissors to get my sticky strip loosened up and get that off of there. And then your box will just lay down the way it's supposed to be so it's exact, you know, in, in position, like that's even and all that kind of stuff. So then you have your little box. Now the trick to folding this is you are going to fold this one, see this one with the little grooves or whatever, you're going to fold that one in first. Then you're going to bring your edges in like that. Then just take this one and just kind of give it a push. And it'll push into that hole. And then it just pops open like that. So the only thing that is holding this box together was that piece of sticky strip. So that's pretty cool, huh? All right, so now um, you're going to do it to both of them. So do that to, your, to both your boxes. Then I want to decorate it. So this is just a piece of Whisper White. And I'm going to stamp it with the um, snowflakes from the Christmas Punch set. I do want to stamp off so that it's a little lighter when it comes to the paper. So just stamp it off a little bit. It's just going to be a tad bit lighter. Then I'm going to put this thing, and this is from Sweet Season, and I'm going to do that in the Take It With Teal. But, since I'm a little anal, I like to use my jig to make sure it's right in place. So I'm going to lay that piece of vellum down. I stamped it ahead of time. I just choose to use vellum instead of the um, little plastic sheet that comes with it because I'm always forgetting to clean it off anyways. So I'm laying my vellum down and I'm putting my jig in place like that. I'm inking up my gingerbread thing with the tape and with teal. I'm sliding that down. You see it just flew right off there. There we go. So now my gingerbread thing is right where I wanted it to be. Then I'm just going to take my snail and I'm going to glue that to some of the holiday lounge paper that I had cut ahead of time. And glue this. And that's going to go on the front of the box, like this. And then this is, I believe, a three and a half by three and a half piece of um, holiday lounge. I want to corner edge or corner round my um, top pieces. Now the trick to use the corner rounder is to stick it in your paper and backwards, so you can see that the point is really at the point. If you go like this, sometimes you think it is and you flip it over and it's not. I guess I need to watch where I'm putting my paper so you can see. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive. I'm going to go like this only because I want a little bit of adhesive here because of the um, oval punch. I want to make sure that my paper's stuck 
where the punch is going to go. So now I'm just putting that paper in there like that. So then I've already had decorated the back part of the box and they're going to go like this. Okay, so it makes a little box. And I just use the multi-purpose glue. So just give it a squeeze. Come on, glue. Well, this is going to be embarrassing. Okay, hold on. There we go. I'm just giving it a squeeze. And then put these two together. And what I like about the green tip glue, I like to call it, is you can move the stuff around so that you can see that you've got it in place and all that stuff. It gives you some time to work with it. Where if I had to put this together with sticky strip, that wouldn't be the case. So anyways, so I've got my box put together like that. Cute, cute. So while that glue is setting up just a little bit, I want to um, put my little snowflake. And all I did was I punched out a snowflake with um, the snowflake punch. I'm going to stick it on with the glue dot. So I'm going to push the little glue dot in there. I'm going to stick it on to here. Then I'm going to take a half back pearl from the Purdy's kit. Stick that on there as well. And now put this in the center of the snowflake. So that's decorated beautifully. Then you're going to take your large oval punch. And that's this right here. You're going to turn it upside down and eyeball about where you want that to be in here and give it a good squeeze. So now you have your little handle to carry your little box around. So this will set up a little more of the glue. I'm just going faster, you know, than you're making this at home. You wouldn't be going as quick as I am. So that will be um, dry in no time. So this is after it's um, put together. I put a little bit of the shreddy paper and um, it holds a Giraldi chocolate, it holds your little gift card. Um, you could put anything in it. Um, nice little piece of jewelry wouldn't be um, a shabby little gift. And um, I think, I think, I think I have told you everything you need to know. Um, but give these a shot. Um, I did up a cute one the other day, different paper. I'll have to show you that um, next month. But um, I can't show you that one yet. But anyways, try it out. Let me know how you did. And I want to see all your creations, so make sure you um, link back to my blog. I want to see what you came up with. So I will talk to you next week. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.